tension between GPs and nurses. Well, yeah. Doctors too. Like, and GPs aren't. What's the difference between a doctor and a GP? So a GP has gone through the same studies, but they've um, they've chosen to specialise as a GP. Okay. So. Oh, so you can be a, a gynaecology doctor, yeah. or you can be or a, a pediatrician. pediatrician, or a yeah. So when you dietitian, uh, not doctor. Quite. That's a, another career, but oh, okay. you could be a doctor of I don't know. Well, yeah, medical doctor, but work in the gastroenterology world or something. Um, so most doctors will do five years at uni and then I think they do one or two years of research as well but well, maybe that's even their five years. And then they become an intern for a year. That's everyone. And then after their internship they become a resident. But I think you still have to apply for your residency. Like you don't just become a resident. After your residency most, a lot of doctors will residents for a long time like if you are on if you're if you see a doctor at hospital they're most likely a resident because they're qualified enough like to scrubs okay yeah yeah so interns can still write on drug charts and, and prescribe drugs um but residents i wonder i, th I don't think residents can diagnose maybe they can they have to get their supervisor to they might be able to diagnose. So after a resident is a consultant, but it's again very hard to become a consultant. And then I think the next step after consultant is like professor. So yeah. I've only met one professor, that's Professor Pennington, she's the paediatric surgeon. So Professor Pennington, for example, she has gone through her uni, done an internship. Chosen to apply for GP 